million salary of Savannah Guthrie despite pulling double duty of Kathy Lee Gifford. While she snagged the Today gift from disgraced Matt Lawford, Hoda Kotb will still be making $18 million less than her predecessor. Cobb landed the $7 million per year contract when it was announced that she would be co-host of the NBC franchise on Monday. And although she will be making the same as co-host Savannah Guthrie, they both will still be making less than Matt Lawford, who made $25 million a year before he was fired in November for inappropriate behavior in the workplace. Hoda isn't complaining about the money. She has landed the big job she always dreamed of, and most definitely deserves, said a show insider to page 6. Plus, Matt's salary reflected the long time he was on the show, 25 years. If things go well, Hoda could ask for more next time if she or UPS her contract. But the figures underline the huge wage disparity at NBC News. The rep from today shared that the organization does not comment on talent contracts. The show host gets up around 4 a.m. to film today from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. She then records updates for the West Coast then goes back on the air. It seems that there is no bad blood between Hoda Kotb and the man she replaced, as the newest anchor of today revealed that Meg Lawford sent her a text on Tuesday after learning about her promotion. Matt sent a text this morning saying congrats and that meant a lot, meant the world. Cotby told Extra during a brief break between her 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. hosting beauties. Her co-host Savannah Guthrie then added, There is no question our hearts are with Matt and always will be and we love him. There is no one that would be cheering Hoda more than Matt. Cotby was still giddy about the news three hours after the announcement, despite admitting she learned about the promotion before the holidays. I am, like, pinching myself. This is one of those things. When Savannah played me open, and then played it again, it's one of those things that you never in your lifetime actually ever imagine happening, you just don't, she explained. We've been sitting together for, like, more than a year, kind of, anyway, so I just got a little closer, I scooted over a little to Savannah. We talked about it a little around Christmas time and we were talking about it because it was sort of a natural thing, and it just sort of felt like, I guess, a natural progression said a copy of the negotiation between herself and the network. It felt kind of comfortable, I think. Guthrie later said that hosting alongside copy was very comfortable for her, noting, none of this was planned, obviously but then when we all saw how much it worked and how good it felt and how we hope viewers like this pairing, too, it was kind of a no-brainer, of course we want to keep it going. The news was so exciting that even competitors tweeted out their support for the pair just waking up in Hawaii to the big news. It's official. So happy for it Hoda Kotb all I can say number sign Savannah Huda told E congrats. Wrote CBS this morning anchor Gail King. Congrats to fabulous you. Big mommy hug to you and at Savannah Guthrie and the whole team. Wrote King's co-host Nora O'Donnell. Those two women are dealing with a similar situation on their own show after the ousting of Charlie Rose for sexual misconduct and have been welcoming the revolving door of guest hosts over the past two months. Congrats to Ad Hodakotby at App Today Show, wrote Fox News host Laura Ingraham. And Tamron Hall, who left NBC a little less than a year ago after learning Midgine Carey would be getting her hour-long Today time slot wrote, Congrats at Hodakotby go home go. Of course at Savannah Guthrie is the best teammate you could have. Always there for a friend. The two women also revealed in an interview with people that they came together and said a prayer for Lawford on the morning they learned he had been fired by NBC. I won't forget it. I said to Savannah after that prayer, we're gonna make it through this together, said Cope B. We just sort of sat there and I was sort of on autopilot, I don't really remember a lot of it but I do remember just sort of holding on to Savannah and saying it just wasn't in our hands anymore. It was in God's hands. Guthrie added, I remember reading something later that said I had grabbed Hoda's hand, and of course that's not something you plan. That's just something you do because you have a real friend, and you need to hold her hand. I think you could see from the moment that the news happened that our hearts were broken, and in lots of ways, they still are, said Guthrie. That feeling was shared through our whole newsroom and our whole Today Show staff, because it sounds like cliché or promo line, but it happens to be true, we are family, and we do love each other, and families do go through hard times, and when that happens in good families, you just get closer. She went on to say,
you pull together and you focus on the foundation and what keeps you together. I think that's what we've all been trying to do. And for me, I just am trying to get comfortable with how complicated the feelings around all of it are, and it is complicated. And just trying to have love and compassion for everyone concerned. It was Guthrie who shared the news of Cody's big promotion at the top of the show on Tuesday. We are kicking off the year right, because Hoda is officially the co-anchor of today, said Guthrie. This has to be the most popular decision NBC News has ever made, and I am so thrilled. Cotby joined NBC in 1998 as a Datline correspondent, and in September 2007 became the co-host for the fourth hour of today alongside Ann Curry and Natalie Morales. She was joined by Kathy Lee Gifford at the News and Booze desk the following March. Gifford also spoke with people about her friend's big promotion. I feel happy for her because she is having the greatest year of her life, and if she's happy, I'm happy for her, she said in an interview with the magazine. What's happening to her now is something she would have given anything for earlier on in her career. Nobody is as good as what they do as Hoda. Nobody spreads more joy. But she has learned that the way you make your living is different from what your life is all about. Gifford continued, she has a life to go home to that means more to her than anything she could have dreamed of. I'm not minimizing how huge this is, but I'm explaining this comes to her at the perfect time. She knows what's truly important. And in that same interview Gifford also spoke about Lawford, and correctly noted how happy he would be with the news. The whole thing with Matt is not something we want to get into. We love this man and we are heartbroken about him being gone. Our sense of joy is tempered by our sense of loss, said Gifford. The best way to say it is that it's a bit bittersweet. Nobody wants to profit off of someone's pain. But this is reality. It's a business, and someone has to move on. Matt would be the first to congratulate her and wish her well. This news comes a month after an NBC source told Daily Mail. Com that Cobby would be co-hosting with Guthrie for the foreseeable future after Lawford's firing by the network. Shortly after Lawford's departure, NBC News chairman Andy Lack revealed that an internal investigation was underway to look into his appalling behavior. The team of the most experienced NBC Universal legal and human resources leaders have begun a thorough and timely review of what happened and what we can do to build a culture of greater transparency, openness and respect for each other. Read the memo. At the conclusion of the review we will share what we learned, no matter how painful, and act on it. On top of that, Noah Oppenheim, the NBC News president, promised severe punishment for any employee who knew about Lawyer's behavior and sat on it. I can't tell you, on a personal level, that if there is anyone who works here, who still works here, who knew about this and didn't report it, this is going to be dealt with in the most severe way possible. And that is why we are conducting this review, he told staff at NBC's Nightly News. There are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by words and actions. To the people I have hurt, I am truly sorry, said Lawward at the time. The last two days have forced me to take a very hard look at my troubling flaws. It has been humbling. Some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized. But there is enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed. I regret that my shame is now shared by the people I cherish dearly.